currently noon on the 4th of July, 2022. You guys know who it is, it's Zach Seif here. Today's gig vlog, my band Crash the Party checks out a brand new venue for the first time. I'll walk you through how we kind of approach playing a new place for the first time. We're playing the yard at Ballas Casino in Atlantic City. Our load in is at six or so, so we're gonna go hang out for the day. We'll see what kind of shenanigans play ahead. about an hour to kill until the rest of Crash the Party's in the area, so we're stopping at Guitar Center. I mean, this should come as no surprise, but you know, gotta find a way to kill time and get out and stretch a little. There's no point in going to Atlantic City that early and then just sitting in my car or walking around the boardwalk. It's, uh, you know, especially when you're in an Atlantic City as much as I am, you know, there's really no need to spend any more time there than you need to. So we'll go see what's in here and pick up some uh, some stuff for tonight. So these elixirs were on sale for five bucks in their blowout bin. Even though I don't really play seven string, I can ditch the 56 and now I have two sets of strings that I got for five bucks instead of 15. Got guitar picks, these were also half price. And I've been looking for a Van Halen shirt for a while so I figured I'd grab this as well. So I have another hour or so until the rest of the band gets here but I wanted to kind of talk about my process for preparing for these new venues and shows that we haven't played before. So the first thing we usually do is we get what's called an advance from the manager of the venue. And the advance basically breaks down all the information that bands and managers and booking agents need to know about the venue. So the advance will usually start with the name and address, the load in setup and set times along with how long the breaks are and stuff like that. It'll have the contact information for front of house, lighting, or the venue manager. And it'll also have a list of all of the back line. The back line is everything that the venue is providing that we don't need to bring. So for example, for tonight, the venue itself has a five piece drum kit. We just have to bring our own cymbals and throne. It has guitar amps, guitar speaker cabinets, bass amps, bass cabinets, keyboard amps, full range speakers. So we don't have to bring any amps. We can just bring our guitars and pedal boards and plug into stuff that's already there. And that drastically cuts down the load in and load out time, especially since we're not done playing today until like two o'clock in the morning. So the less shit we have to pack up in the trailer later, the quicker we can get home because most of us have work tomorrow. And after four days in a row of shows, we're all pretty beat and tired. Um, but again, I wouldn't trade this life for anything else. So after I figure out what kind of backline there is, then I plan my rig accordingly. You guys can't really see it from here, um, but I just brought out the FM3 for this weekend. I didn't want to bring out the big rack and have all that extra stuff to bring out. I want to make it just one trip in, one trip out, and I can do that between the GTX and the Helix backpack that I keep the rack one. So let's go head on over to Bally's Casino. It only makes sense. We are pulling into Bally's Park Place. I was literally here just yesterday with Evolution X at uh, Caesars, which is on the same block here. So I'm having massive deja vu. I'm gonna do the meta thing and vlog the vlogger. All right, so this oh is God, vlogception right here. We're vlogging, vlogception. <laughs> now see, Darian's got the whole setup with the road shotgun mic yeah. and the Canon camera. With the 24P guy. Oh, running 24P. Well, sorry, I run 60 frames per second here, all right? <laughs> They was fucking with it though, because you knew the words. It's all about knowing the words. And they don't know the words. <laughs> this, so, this guy's trying to fucking so one up. I just grabbed Carlos's gimbal to try to one up Darian <laughs> over here. So now I can move around and it stays in the same place no matter where I go. Super mm -hmm. stable. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of this beautiful man over I'll here. I'll teach you all the tricks. What's the parade shooting? Yeah, I saw that. I read it today online. 
today or yesterday or over the weekend. So Darian, how do you prepare for a gig at a venue you've never played before? <laughs> you mean, you mean this, this whole weekend? Whole weekend? <laughs> yeah. What's like your process? Pray. <laughs> Pray and hope for the best. What about you, Carlos? Considering you played a lot of the same venues for something like tonight where you've never played here before, do you have anything specific that you have to do on the management side of things? Well, <clears throat> casinos aren't super hard because they mostly have all their own back lines and stuff. Sure. And as a singer, I also don't have a lot of problems with that because they always have little microphones and stuff. So <laughs> it's not really a huge problem with casinos. I also don't use any of my lighting equipment. Yeah. So it's usually pretty chill for me. Cool. What about you, Jess? Anything on your end? No. I bring all her stuff for her. Carlos, <laughs> take my mic. Oh, wait. <laughs> they have their own here. <laughs> Never mind. It's a I lot just, of scoping out. I just yeah. take a shower. Mm -hmm. I eat some food. Absolutely. I do my makeup. I hydrate a little bit. Yeah, I do in the shower yeah. <laughs> and that's about it yo you you want to play guitar hero ah uh, yo let's go <laughs> yo he's really kicking your ass carlos <laughs> Yo, this is mad hard. This is so much harder than a real guitar. It makes a difference. No way. Like, I can play this in real life, like, with my eyes closed. <laughs> Currently on my way back to the parking garage. I'm gonna grab all my gear and then be the rest of the band down at the trailer. Load in is about 15 minutes or so. And then we can uh, check out this new venue. There's the trailer down there. He's waving! Back to the car we go. Do some quick loadout. You know, something I always enjoy about these casino gigs is the fact that we have relatively easy load-ins. There's usually backline and everything provided, so don't have to worry about too much of that. Back in the hotel room for a little bit, gonna just relax and get settled. We have two hours until showtime, and then I have to bail after the gig because I have work the next day, most of us do. Um, but instead of staying in the hotel and then leaving mad early to get home, I'm gonna drive home tonight and at least get a couple hours in my own bed. Um, that's the only real tough part about this gig is continuing a regular work schedule with a, another job while having these late holiday weekends and stuff like that, where you're playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, like this week is. And it takes a little bit of a toll on the body, but if you continue to take care of yourself, you eat as well as you can, you take your supplements and vitamins, you stay physically active, you drink plenty of water, you don't go overboard with the partying, then you'll be able to do this longer than those who don't. Yeah, this looks super sick from the outside.
to the elevator. It's about two o'clock in the morning. Got a two hour ride home, then bright and early to go teach tomorrow. I wouldn't trade this for anything though. I'm having such an amazing time with Crash the Party and it's just been accumulation of everything that I've been working hard on my entire life is finally accumulating into something consistent something that's reliable, something that's stable, and something that I absolutely love doing. And I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have on these vlogs. I love doing them. This was the main reason I started the YouTube channel back up. I can't wait to show you guys what comes next. Be sure to check out social media links. Smash that subscribe button. Until next time, everyone, keep on following your dreams. I promise that it's worth it.